When you are using your Chromebook calculator, you're going to begin by looking for the calculator app in the bottom bar on your Chromebook. You can also use these directions to help you with an app called Calculate 84, and that app will do the same exact things that I'm showing you that the calculator app on your Chromebook will do. So when you open the Chromebook calculator, this is the app that should open. You should see that you have a black calculator, and you should be able to put it next to the screen that you're working on so that you don't have to keep going back and forth between screens. The enter button in the bottom right corner is where you are going to use your equal sign. Your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are found on the gray buttons. The negative symbol is not found in the gray button. The negative symbol is found next to enter by the white numbers. So the negative symbol and the subtraction symbol are not the same. Use the white button for negative numbers. Use the gray button for subtracting numbers. Now go ahead and try and plug this into your calculator and see what you get. Make sure that you have used the negative for in front of your 4 and that you have used the subtraction in front of the 2. You should get your answer as negative 6. Remember to use the enter button in order to have an equal sign. When we want to square a number, squaring a number is when we multiply a number by itself two times. But rather than saying 4 times 4, there's one button that means the same thing, and that's using that little squared. So if you put into your calculator 4, and then you push x squared, you should find that you get an answer of 16. When you want to take a square root, this is checking to see what number multiplied by itself equals that number. So the square root of 16 is 4 times 4, and that's why it equals 4. So when I'm putting this into the calculator, first we have to push second, then x squared, and that should come up with our radical sign. And then you can type in 16 and press Enter you should get your answer as 4. Finally, when we are simplifying a fraction, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in the fraction and we're going to use the division sign. That's step 1. Step 2 is where you will choose the button that says math. That button will open this table here. From that table, you will then choose the fraction button. You can do that by either pushing enter or you can press the number one. And that should then come up with this on your screen. It should say answer with the black arrow frac or fraction. And when you push enter as the very last step, then you should find that you get the simplified fraction. So go ahead and try that and make sure that that works for you.